Hey there YouTube, just wanted to do a real quick video. I know that when I started airbrushing, I wanted to see what some of the options were out there for homemade uh, versions of paint booths. Um, you know, with as much spraying as I've been doing, I didn't want to have all the overspray all over my garage and, and everything else. Um, certainly I wanted something that was pulling the air in, uh, getting that all filtered and not leaving much of a mess. So I uh, thought I'd do a real quick video on one way. Uh, there's many to do it. I've seen people use tubs. I've seen people use cardboard, uh, plywood, whatever uh, you have available. But uh, what I was real lucky for is uh, the company I work for does a lot of presentation boards. So we had leftover foam core. So, you know, this is probably quarter inch uh, black foam core um, that was used for some presentation boards and I was able to uh, turn it into uh, an open space. The base is a little bit deeper than the top which is kind of nice. Um, you can kind of lean in a little bit more, kind of allows the light uh, to get in there. Uh, the big thing is I wanted it to be light, easy to move. Um, the whole thing is held together with little cardboard reinforced corners. Everything is hot glued. Um, just was the fastest, easy way to do it especially with the foam core being light uh, it held up so I put in so this I believe roughly is 20 by 30 and the filter is 16 by 25 it's a two inch uh, furnace filter I think it's like a Merv 8 um, but the opening behind the filter uh, is probably only 12 by 12 and the reason I have the filter sitting in here offset is it allows me to move the filter four times um, and still make use out of most of the, the filter surface so I mean what you can see here is you know we've got the light um, I have all of this sitting on a pretty unique uh, table. Uh, the table was purchased uh, secondhand from Habitat for Humanity. Uh, don't know what the heck it was for, but it's really worked out great. I uh, used to have it sitting over on my workbench, blocked my window, didn't allow me to do a lot of other stuff that I wanted to do. Uh, has these real nice racks up here. This side over here is going to be for... Uh, placing some paper towels, the rest of it. It's real nice. I can hang all of my lures as I'm doing the different types, um, which I enjoy. Gives me an area to put my airbrush uh, holder, as well as to loop my hoses around and put my three-way and my pressure gauge. So, um, worked out really good. I think I paid 30 bucks for it or whatever, but I'm sure there's lots of different tables out there, you know, that would work. Uh, has the flip-out sides, uh, keep all my paint in here so I can check it. But the nice thing is on the back, I have a simple bathroom exhaust fan uh, that is just foil taped uh, to the opening here on the back. Uh, just a simple basic plug-in, plugs in, turns on, uh, pulls through about a maybe 8x8, 10x10 opening in the, in the box. Um, works really good, sucks in all the particulates and, you know, really does you know, make a, a pretty good uh, filter. And I know I've heard a lot of people say that they actually pull paint through. Um, mine does not. I do not have any paint on the blades, and I've been using this for a couple of weeks now. Um, but, it, yeah, it works out really nicely to have that um, on here. So just thought I would take a minute to show, you know, how this is done. I guess I can go ahead real quick. And I took a couple of pieces of uh, one-inch um, styrofoam to hold the filter in just as kind of a compression piece. Uh, the filter just pops out comes out this way and you can see here you know just the opening in the back with the fan uh, swap out filters whenever I need to put them back in they usually last a couple of weeks just depending and they're only four dollars so swapping them out isn't a big deal um, I've done another video on the actual uh, lure holder that I use so if you're interested in that look at my page uh, you'll be able to see one on the details of how that was constructed and additionally I will do one on uh, the uh, lure drying rack that I use. Um, I've tried a couple of different versions and this one seems to be the best. It, uh, it works really good. I don't have to worry about it burning down my house when it's running for all the hours that it does. So yeah, I think, uh, again, if you, uh, are looking to build a paint booth for really cheap, you can get the foam core at 
Michaels or Hobby Lobby or any craft store. Um, put the thing together. I think the fan's probably about 15, 20 bucks or something if you go to you know, Home Depot. Uh, the rest of the stuff you should have just sitting around. But if you liked the video, if it was helpful, uh, please take the time to like it, provide comments, I'll reply. Um, again, these are usually really, uh, really beneficial things here for people that don't have a lot of experience with it. So hope you liked the video. Thank you much.